Welcome in to USL Pro Weekly. My name is Nicholas Murray. Very pleased to be joined by David Wagner back from his German vacation. Hope you had a great time over there, David. I did, thank you. But I know you've been keeping up with the USL Pro action while you were there. And Orlando City on Sunday night, Dom Dwyer continues his hot streak, another two goals, seven in his last three games. He's already closing in on Johnny Arteaga's USL Pro record of 13 goals in a season. Yep. Is there anyone out there that can stop him apart from maybe injury or a recall to Sporting Kansas City? <laughs> I, I don't think so right now. I think it's, in, well, let's keep in mind, it's not just Dom. you got that whole Orlando offense that's just clicking. They move the ball so well. Their movement off the ball is so well, too. Uh, is so great. I mean, and they've just been absolutely fantastic. So at this point, I would say no. <laughs> no one's going to stop him. As far as Dwyer, in particular, his movement off the ball against Seattle, he, he was able to create space for himself and yep. be in the right place at the right time for both of his goals. Wasn't the only player to have impressive offensive performances yep. this weekend. You had Sine Toure with two goals and an assist, Joseph Nguyenia picking up a hat-trick to earn Player of the Week honors, Jose Angulo with another couple of goals for Pittsburgh. So yep. some very nice attacking action for the fans out there this weekend yeah there were some great goals this weekend and as you said i was overseas but i was still catching up on the games late and early and some of the some of the ones uh on, on the podcast as well i heard about that and just a great weekend in action and you talk about Toure, and that leads us into a nice preview for what we're going to see this weekend too massive game on friday night as orlando city goes to harrisburg top of the division against number three in the division that's going to be a must-see on USL Nation from Skyline Sports Complex. Yeah, and actually I already checked the weather too, and it's supposed to be good weather, which I think the Harrisburg City Islanders fans will be happy about. But I think we're going to see some great play. The pitch is looking uh, pretty good there right now, and I think it's going to be a, a matchup of two teams that are really in form right now. Now we mentioned Jose Angulo, a couple of goals and two big goals as Pittsburgh took its first victory of the season yep. against Phoenix last Thursday. Rochester Rhinos as well, finally getting off the slide mm -hmm. and uh, getting that win. Christian Nix playing a big role. How big is that for those two teams to kind of get that win and that get that first victory and kind of try and get their seasons on track? Yeah, I think huge game for Christian. Uh, what was it? It was like 13 shots he faced all game. Made some huge saves in the game. You look at Horth getting the goal. I mean, those are the kind of performances they need. We know the quality that they have in the back with, with Nietzsche and goal. And so we need everybody to, on that team to keep stepping up to re realize the level of talent that they really have. Now, Pittsburgh will be playing tonight. We Open Cup starts tonight. They'll be hosting a team from the USASA DW, DVB Adria. Yep. We've also got three USL Pro teams again going up against PDL teams yep. tonight with FC Tucson hosting Phoenix FC. Yep. Got VSI Tampa Bay going to play the Orlando City U23s and the Dayton Dutch Lions hosting River City Rovers. And mm -hmm. that game can be seen on USL Nation. Mm -hmm. Which of the Open Cup games are you most excited to see tonight? Uh, personally, I'm excited about that Phoenix-Tucson game. I think that uh, Tucson came in last year at a very high level for a first-year club. Played very well. You have some former players like Donny Toya that made the jump over to Phoenix now. I think there's going to be a nice little rivalry there. Um, not to sl put... Uh, to say any of the other ones aren't going to be good matches, but I'm especially excited about that one. I think Reed Schmidt, another guy who made the jump from Tucson yep. to Phoenix. Right. Also some other very interesting teams out there. You've got the Carolina Dynamo and Reading United and yep. Ocean City, Des Moines starting on Wednesday. But for the USL Pro teams, could be some banana skins, but are we hoping, which of these teams do you think might be able to make a run? Yeah, um, I mean... For, for these clubs right here, I mean, any of them make a run. I mean, you look at a team like Dayton last year who didn't have the best of seasons, but they did extremely well, made a long run in the Cup, and anything can happen in the Cup. I mean, it could happen in any Cup. You look at Wigan this weekend in, in, in England, but any team can, can make a run like that. So all these teams possess the qualities. It's about having that, that necessary depth to carry on at two competitions at the same time. Well, we hope you'll join us on uslnation.com tonight for that game between River City Rovers and the Dayton Dutch Lions. Also USL Pro Action tonight from Charlotte as yep. the Charleston Battery go and visit the Eagles. Big game there in league play. And we hope you'll join us on Thursday for the USL Pro Weekly Podcast where we'll be talking with the Rochester Rhinos' Troy Roberts about the club's first victory. Until then, thanks to David. My name's Nicholas. We hope you'll see you down the line.